chance to find out what the task force's real priorities are. fantasize about moving to Hawaii, but there'd be nothing to swing from. Time for alternative transportation. I'm not used to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. <clears throat> Tell him we've got the delivery. I'll watch the truck. You got it, boss. Only one thing will work on this story. I honestly... Huh? I have eyes on Spider-Man! I'll come right out with some cold water. I like hurting people. Look you put forth this weak an effort? <laughs> All the armor in the world can't fix stupid. Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up padding my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shift. I tell the boys. Task Force cops working with crooks. No. Who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. Huh? I see him! Got the spider! They say bad guys don't think of themselves as bad guys, but come on. <laughs> That. Ah, come on, what's a spider gonna do? He messes with us. He just gives us an excuse to bust him for assaulting an officer. Time to think about what you did wrong. Just what I want. Man, this armor is sweet. Ain't nothing gonna stop us now. Yeah, the Kingpin's scary, but I'd work for him over the Osborne kid any day. 
That guy's got issues, man. Spider slam! I'm still experimenting with the catchphrases. What do you think? You want me to let you go? Raise your hand. Okay. I love getting hit. Like Come on, show me what you got. Ionic webbing? Stuff. It really is so hard to get good help these days. Just for the doctor. A Salgon police officer. You've been busy, Spider-Man. Care to add more crimes to the list? You're a fool, Spider-Man. If you think those lackeys were meant to do anything more than delay you. I see him! Got the spider! Uh, anyone else hear that? Got the spider! Do you know how much you cost me? But the villain? I do, Spider-Man! Looks to me like the elite task force wasn't all that elite. I'm sure you're quite pleased with yourself. But the night... Yeah. Come on, show me what you got. Oh, that was fun. I suppose when you live such a sad little life, you can't help but cling to small victories. I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. Where'd you learn to fight? From a book? Who's there? That mask don't scare me. <laughs> Fancy tricks. Gonna fight like men. You fancy yourself a hero. I've done more for this city than even ever dream of! Not the armor's only as good as the guy inside. And those guys? Yeah, not good. Please, Spider-Man, beat up some more police officers. They'll make wonderful new footage. Target acquired. That armor's too big an advantage. I need to equalize things with ionic webbing. <laughs> Put forth this weak an effort? I kinda feel like you don't respect me. No more for sure, my ionic web weakens metal. Whatever those guys get paid, it's too much. I'm rapidly losing patience with you, insect. Fellas, 
I got him! <sighs> that mask don't scare me. Bam! There he is! Don't feel bad. You're not... You're not... No. All right, you're not... Good. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. You're not so scary in person. <sighs> Take that. <laughs> they say bad guys don't think of themselves as bad guys, but come on, you must know. more games, Buffalo Bunny. Just you and me. What, no elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys in Berlin. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Kingpin! Catch your name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tukas. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare people. To make things so bad, when you took over, it looked like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix things? You? Running around in a costume, acting out something bad. I live in the real world. Come down here immediately! Yes, I made a fight in myself! People don't expect a crime free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. Where if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want order! You're wrong! People want justice. They want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules everyone else has to follow, they'll be okay. <laughs> what an amusing world you live in, boy. I'm gonna be... What do I pay you for? Get down here! What? <laughs> Men like me to make the hard choices. Of the world turn so they can work their pathetic jobs and live their small lives and get a cookie at the end of the day. Knowing that someone strong is in charge. Hey man, I get it. You're a bully fat kid, now you want to get even. You want to start a software company? Be my guest. 
But when you start hurting people, when you turn into the bully yourself, I'm gonna shut you down. How dare you? You know nothing about me. Nothing about my life. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare them. To make things so bad, when you took over, it would look like you fixed it. Who else is gonna fix me? Huh? You? I live in the real world, Spider-Man. Your high school yearbook photo was taken. Come down here immediately! I made a fight in myself. People don't expect a crime-free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. But if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want murder! You're wrong! People want justice. They want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules as everyone else can see. Okay. <laughs> what an amusing world you live in, boy! You're so fat, you're the same height lying dead. What do I pay you for? Get down here! Watch! It's men like me to make the hard choices. To make the wheels of the world turn. So they can work their pathetic jobs and live their small lives and just want a cookie at the end of the day. Knowing that someone's strong. Hey man, I get it. You were a bully fat kid, and now you want to get even. You want to start a software company? Be my guest. But when you start hurting people, when you turn into the bully yourself, I'm gonna shut you down. How dare you? You know nothing about me. Nothing about my life. No idea what I've done to survive. So talk to me. Let's hear it. You hired Craven, clean his cat. Spider-Man, I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws, there is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did, as a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper, if indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah? We'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop! All 
unit. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, I will be gone when you return. <laughs> Generators. I'm not getting no, anywhere just near time square. Fool of yourself, but go ahead. Don't let me stop you. Get over there. I warned you to stay away. Now it's too late. I recognize that guy. What happened to him? familiar about you, Max Dillon? You don't even remember. You said I was your eyes and ears. <laughs> said we were partners. I remember now. 
I did say that, and I meant it. Liar! You abandoned me! Left me in that place. Let them hurt me. All alone in the dark. Max, I don't know what happened to you. I can see you're in pain, but I can't help you unless you let me. You don't care. There's bad people everywhere, Max. I'm sorry for what they did to you. But that doesn't give you an excuse to be one of them. Full of electricity? You're pretty dim. You're just like the rest! Webs, do your thing. <laughs> out what they're doing here. Stop fighting them. Tell the police what they're up to. We can put them down together. Listen, I know we're fighting, but could you recharge my phone? <laughs> Web shooters are disabled. Gotta be careful. I'll have to do 
working without webs for a bit. Web shooters crash. At first, it's kind of bad for you. Now, not so much. <laughs> I feel sorry for the guy. He was a victim. And if what he said about Ravencroft is true, I've got to shut that place down. Oscorp's one of their big donors. Maybe Harry can help. Yeah. Mr. Osborne, you were right. Fisk is buying up Oscorp's stock for a hostile takeover. But as long as you're here, I'm confident we can stop it. Right. As long as I'm here. I have it, sir. Richard Parker's spider venom formula. But every time it's been used, there have been serious side effects. More serious than death? I'll take my chances. Now get out! Dr. Kafka, is that supposed to happen? Attention all task force officers. With the growing threat posed by the masked vigilante called Spider-Man, we are clear to escalate. This ends now. All units. Be advised, we have reports of rogue elements of the task force installing unknown devices, possibly dangerous, in populated areas. Proceed with extreme caution. There could be mass casualties if I don't find those bombs right away. We have a suspicious device in Midtown East. All units, evacuate the area. Just admit this whole task force thing was a terrible idea. Let's go for a swim. Ugh! <sighs> 
just made it. I need a bomb squad unit to investigate a reported explosive device. Evacuation is in progress. later. The spider! Form on me! Come on, you're not taking this seriously! Or are you really that slow? You're just some skinny kid. You're going down hard now. Ooh. So close, yet so far. I'm gonna beat you, Cecil. And I'm perfectly legal. I'd keep you company till the cops come, but I really don't like you. fight instead! Huh, you should see me do the worm! You should be flattered. I cared enough to give my very best. No way am I letting anyone set off bombs in my... This belongs at the bottom of the river. on the outside. These guys have lost their mind. Gotta get to the river fast. bombs in my city. No one! All available units, respond to the Oscorp building. Set up a perimeter and assist in evacuation. 
We have reports of hostiles on the premises, armed and dangerous. Not again. Gotta get over there fast. like a bomb went off. Or a bunch of them. I need to find out who did it. Great. Listen, I know you task force guys think I'm the second coming of Al Capone, but there's a bigger threat right now. The goblin gave us this armor after he sprung us from Ravencroft. We work for him, and he wants you alive or dead. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go with option two. Another one? Listen, guys, I know crazy doesn't need a reason, but I've never met this goblin you keep talking about. Well, the boss knows you, and he's paying us to bring you to him in pieces. That's what it takes. Whoa. Oscorp looks like a bomb went off. Or a bunch of them. I need to find out who did it. Great. Listen, I know you task force guys think I'm the second coming of Al Capone, but there's a bigger threat right now. The Goblin gave us this armor after he sprung us from Ravencroft. We work for him, and he wants you alive or dead. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go with option two. Another one? Listen, guys, I know crazy doesn't need a reason, but I've never met this Goblin you keep talking about. Well, the boss... Okay, listen up, minion number four. I want answers. Your pals made it sound like Harry Osborne is this goblin person. But he'd never do that to his own company. I guess you don't know the boss as well as you thought. But chew on this. If he'd do that to Oscorp, what would he do to you? <laughs> Big tough spider has to run away. Let's see how you do hand to hand. <laughs> This isn't personal, I just think you're a jerk. Okay, maybe it is personal. Look at this place. We could all come crashing down. If anyone's still in there, I've got to get them out. Fast. Spider-Man. I'm gonna write the bugle. Tell them they're wrong about you. Help! <coughs> I can't breathe! You're a real hero, Spidey! Osborne, is that really you? Does it look like me? No. Harry Osborne's dead thanks to you. All that's left is the Goblin. You couldn't wait, could you? You tried something else. Richard Parker's spider venom. And look, I'm a new man. I warned you, what could happen? I'm dying, you idiot. What else was I supposed to do? You could have let me do research. No. From now on, I take what I want, no matter who I have to kill. <laughs> How cool is this?
this part! Don't have to fight me. I'll do whatever I can to cure you. Ah, and turn me back into that wise you trust, my lady? I don't think so. Listen, what you've done didn't just affect your body. It's twisted your mind. You have to let me... I don't have to let anyone do anything. That's the only Always waiting for Daddy to come and hug me to make it all better. Well, he never did, but it doesn't matter now. I can make it better myself. Well, better for me, it's not so good for you. <laughs> trying to extend his life instead of living it. Don't make the same mistake, Harry. This is crazy. You're not helping anyone doing this. Not even yourself. Wrong. I'm analyzing your red reading. Your bio reading. You voluntarily end that. Look at you. You don't care who gets caught in the middle of this grudge match. These are people, Harry. People with lives, with families and friends who love them. Just because you didn't have that doesn't give you the right to take it from anyone else. No one gave a damn about me. Why should I care about them? anymore. I'm sorry, Harry. No! You can't do this to me! I'm the Goblin! I'm strong! No one's ever gonna hurt me again! Doggy Arnold? Great power comes great responsibility. Can't forget that. Come here.
Kill me. I don't want to live like this. It's never the answer. It's the easy way out. You think it's hard for you? There are people sick, dying all over the world, some with the same disease, who don't have your money, resources, even mistakes, and do whatever you can to make up for them. The greatest man I ever knew, Tom. We're getting alarms from the Ravencroft Institute. Can anyone respond? Over. Dispatch, we got our hands full with the blackout and Oscorp. They better get over there now. There's a riot at Ravencroft. We don't have the manpower to handle it. All we could do is close the bridge, seal it off. What about the people who work there? We sent us some task force guys to evacuate. They're having a bad time. Any chance you can lend a hand? On my way. This is a nightmare. It gets so bad so fast. It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Both the staff and the non-violent inmates. Gotta get those people out. Oh, come on, don't cry. I can try to humiliate you less. Predictable. I've got to evacuate anyone who's not involved in the water. You're less nervous if you picture me naked. You know what? That's weird. Don't do that. Spider-Man! Get me out of here! Thank you. It got so bad so fast. Glad to help. Get as far away from here as you can.
thinking, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was... Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. You don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine. But the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible. Deadly. And he wants to make more like him. How do I stop Cassidy? Uh, I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Uh, perhaps with fire, uh, or intense vibrations. Uh, it's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to him? I don't fully understand it. <coughs> but like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms, uh, nanites, that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> Symbiotic relationship. More. Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. I'll get you outside, which is more than you deserve. But then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh. from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. Duty security. I wonder what they had here. I get the feeling something seriously wrong was going on here. That water's got a live current. Let's stay on high ground. Ah, 
so much for fires being romantic. Never the puppy project or the chocolate project. makes things even worse. seen anything so horrible in my life. I have Spider-Man. So many mouths to feed. I think I'll feed them you. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. My friend is hungry. It wants a nice fat spider to munch on. You rejected my gift. But I have another one for you. Death. Voices in my head agree. Can't leave now. People are in trouble. <gasps> Cassidy! That's as far as you go. One of you is already too many. Self now. I'm Carnage. I say everyone's the hero of his own. Poor little spider. You're just not ready to see the truth, are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate. You're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking. But I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death. What are you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only- Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you killed to understand death. What are you trying to understand? 
The meaning, the truth, the secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, you've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did. End those criminals forever. That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. And you shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know what will. Death. <laughs>
not the answer, Cletus. None of us are gonna find any answers here. What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel... lost without him. He raised me. I loved him. And he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben, he was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So, why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I, I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. You are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben. And for me. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him. Because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said. What happened to young Osborne is tragic, but never fear. I'll continue to finance the task force myself. And, at the risk of seeming overconfident, I promise you, with the criminal organizations that plagued our city crushed, the crime rate will go down to a manageable level. Yeah, goodbye. There you are. Come in, my friend. Come in. I couldn't have done this without you. Chameleon. Now, the real work begins.